Syracuse, the governor calling on Congress, specifically the 10 Republicans who represent New York, to support the Senate's bipartisan border bill. She invoked the name of Syracuse area Congressman Brandon Williams, who has since said the legislation is dead on arrival. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan has the day's border back and forth. Great to be back in Syracuse, but before I get started, I want Governor to... Governor Kathy Hochul used her podium in central New York to focus on the national politics that have affected New York State. The only thing standing in the way is that the House Republicans refuse to take action. They don't want there to be a resolution because they want to keep the chaos going. She's urging New York's 10 congressional Republicans to vote in favor of the border bill agreed to by the Senate. It would permit the federal government to slow the number of migrants when the border gets overwhelmed and reimburse New York state and city for the spending to house migrants bust up from Texas. I'm calling on Congressman Williams to join with all the other members and be the coalition of the willing, those willing to solve this problem and not just grandstand. So I'm calling them out today. I want their commitments that they will vote for this. It may never get to a vote on the House floor. Congresswoman Elise Stefanik had already denounced the bill. Since Syracuse area Congressman Brandon Williams said he'll vote no, writing, quote, the Biden reelection bill is DOA. It took over 1,000 days for President Biden to admit we have a crisis at our southern border. Williams went on to trash the package. The Senate Majority Leader addressed misinformation on the floor in the last few hours. We are producing legislation in a bipartisan way. And now, unfortunately, many on the hard right are running, are turning their back on this package. Everyone's asking the same question. Are MAGA Republicans serious about fixing the border? Or is this merely political? The Senate could vote Wednesday, but the House vote is uncertain. In Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.